Okay, so I'm going to show you question number two from homework eight. And in this part, I'm just going to go over creating the tree. And then I'll discuss the other two parts of that question. A lot of you probably started out by creating the keyword tree and then condensing it up into your suffix tree. On the exam, I don't know if you'll have time to do that. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to create the suffix tree by using the faster version. Let's check this marker, okay. So uh, the first thing you want to do in, cre in creating your suffix tree is to go to your smallest suffix, which is G. We create our root, and then at most, we're going to have four branches off every leaf because we can only have four nucleotides, four choices of nucleotides. So we go to our first prefix, which is G. Do we have a branch that represents G yet? No, we do not. So we can go ahead and add a G branch. And the part that makes this speedy is right now I'm going to assume that that this is um, accurate, that G should be its own branch, and it starts at index. I forgot to put my indexes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that starts at, let me make sure this is big enough for you to read. So G dollar sign, and it would start at index eight. Then I go to my next prefix, which is GG. I check to see if there exists a G already in the first branch. There does, so I'm here. And then the next nucleotide in this suffix is a G. Do I have a, a, a G off this G? Not yet. I just have the dollar sign. So after this G, I should have two choices. So I have to get rid of my dollar sign and make it its own branch. And I take the index with it. And then my other choice now off of G is G dollar sign. And that's at index 7. Then I go to my next suffix, which is AGG. So I start by checking for A in my tree. There's no branch that represents A. So I'll go ahead and create an A branch, and I'll write the whole suffix. And it starts at 6. For now, I'll assume that that's going to satisfy the, 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 all the suffixes within the tree. I go to my next one, C-A-G-G. -G. I check for a C branch. There isn't one, so I'll go ahead and create one. And again, I'll just put the full suffix there, because right now I'll assume that's the only thing that starts with C. Is that big enough? Actually, let me. C A G G dollar sign, and that starts at index five. I go to my next suffix. Starts at T. I check my tree. There is no T branch. So I make a T branch, and I assume that the only option that I'm going to have that starts with T is that suffix. And it starts at 4. I go to my next suffix, which is, starts at G. So I check for a G branch. I have a G branch. I have a G branch, okay. So I check the next letter, T, T. So I go G, and then do I have an option of T? I don't. So I add a branch, and it gives the option of T. And since I'm starting a new branch at this point, I can just go ahead and add the rest of that suffix.
and that starts at three. I go to my next suffix, A, G, T. I check for an A branch. Here's an A branch. I check the next letter, A, G. Okay, so far so good. And then um, here, our, our third letter is T, but here our third letter is G. So that means at this point, after A, G, we need, a, we need an option. So we remove the G at that point, and we create a fork. One fork is this original option, which was G. And then the next fork is our new option, which is T, C, A, G, G. And that started at index two. I go to my next uh, suffix, which begins with C. So I check C, my C branch, here it is. And I start comparing. We have C, we have A, we have G, and right here we have something different. So we have to remove that, which is the G, and start at its own branch, G, dollar sign, at index five. And we also have another option after CAG now, which is T, C, A, G, G. And it starts at index one. And you can, uh, on the test, I would accept you can just cross those out or you can remove them, erase them, where the branch happens. And then when you reach your last suffix, I mean your last, yeah, suffix, then you can go ahead and just bring your index down to your leaf. So that was index four. This is index five. This was uh, index one. This was index eight. This was index seven. This was index three. Index six. And index two. You can make that a little bit neater, <laughs> but I'm not gonna. Oh, is this gonna be off the screen? Let me check. It is off the screen. Sorry about that. Let me bring it in here. T-C-A-G-G. T-C-A-G-G. And then you can double check your tree to make sure that you that you get all the prefixes. You start here. Do I have a, do I have G represented? Yes. Here's G. Do I have? You don't want to mark it like that on your test, though. Do I have G G G represented? Yes. Do I have A G G G represented? A G G. Yep. Do I have C A G G represented? This with this got killed. Yep. Do I have T C A G? T C A G. Yep. G T C A G G T. Yep. A G T. Yep. That's the full thing. A G T C A G G. And then finally C A G T C A G G. C A G T A C G. So I've represented all my prefixes, all my suffixes in my suffix tree and thereby representing all possible patterns and supplying the index for those patterns.